So is augmented reality ready for wide consumer adoption at this point? We're not quite there yet. I mean, uh, if, if we're talking about the UK or Korea, where interoperability you know, on mobile networks is, is not a problem. Mm -hmm. um, it's a different thing. Here, you know, getting mobile networks to communicate with one another is, is a problem that sure. is one of the problems, but there are other problems. I think definitely with augmented reality, if we prove uh, utility and ease of use, because some augmented reality apps are really just confusing and people don't get it and don't understand what it's about. So I think if it's, you know, for simple reasons, simple things like people understand a map, you know, people mm -hmm. understand an augmented search sure. application like Google Goggles or something, you know, or something where you scan a QR code mm -hmm. or a barcode. Those kind of things, you know, where it's, it's proven a, a utility, ease of use, um, those will help, those kinds of opportunities will help bring about consumer ad adoption, but we also have to take into account that not everyone has a smartphone. Hmm. So how can we, we make augmented reality easy for people who have to text? How can we tie that together, texting SMS with augmented reality? There are cases of, of this, mm -hmm. so, um, and of just taking picture phone, um, pictures, you know, from a regular mm -hmm. phone that's not a smartphone. So I mean, this exists, but I, I think um, the people building the technologies, as well as the marketers, have to think about tying all of that together, mm. depending on which demographics they're trying to reach. So how can marketers and businesses take advantage of it right now? <clears throat> right now, I mean, we've seen some examples. Uh, there was a Stella Artois app. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Le Bar app or I've something that like one, that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and what happens is, you know, you're out and about, you're in London, per se, mm -hmm. and you know, you hold up your phone, your iPhone, your Android phone, um, and you want a Stella Artois. Immediately starts Stella Artois song, start popping up, and you see the pubs that carry the Stella Artois. And mm -hmm. I mean, that right there, that shows definitely how marketers can use it right now right. as a way and an experience. Um, another way, um, something that recently launched on uh, 17.com, uh, is sort of uh, uh, with uh, I think it's JC Penney is the store. Uh, it's a retail opportunity where young girls can um, do con kind of like a augmented reality. It's more like virtual, I guess, with the webcam. They can try on clothes, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Sure. Yeah, and so that you know improves point of sale, right? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, or increases, and you know, it, it raises the purchase intent. Right, so those those are examples of, of things I've seen that definitely work. Um, you know, it makes sense. You know, there's another app with Quiznos that partnered with Layar. Layar is mm -hmm. the yeah, no, the Layar. augmented mm -hmm. reality web browser, right? Yep. For Android, and Quiznos, similar thing. You're looking for a Quiznos. You're on a trip. Um, you pull out your phone, you know, and it shows you the locations. You even get a street view. You can uh, drill down and see when you click in, you see ratings. Mm -hmm. You can see if friends have been there. You can connect with people and share. So th those, and that's when I talk about utility and ease of use. Those are practical applications that people can understand, right? Um, so I, I think those kinds of things are going to help us to see more adoption. Now, is there an issue with, you know, because the examples you're citing, it reminds me very much of apps, too, where, uh, a lot of companies in particular are getting into the app space by creating their own app. Right. But is that the best use case for this? You know, if somebody's out and about, are they necessarily going to be looking for a Stella Artois? Right. Or no. do they want, do they need no. to know about a Stella Artois? No, I mean, I think, and then you're getting into something we're talking about with virtual air rights, right? Mm -hmm. Where if you hold up a street view, and I think like if you look at Bing, if you use Bing mm -hmm. Maps, um, I mean, even Google, think about the possibilities. If you're on Google Maps and you get the street view, and then you see advertising from all these different, you know, it's like, um, um, digital advertising all over the place, mm -hmm. right? But then who pays for that? <laughs> who, sure. who do they pay, right? So all of that stuff ha has to be figured out. But I think that's definitely a possibility in the, in the future, mm -hmm. right? So last question I have for you, and y you touched on that a little bit with the advertising component. What do you see as the revenue streams for AR? Is it an advertising outlet for the, pr for the platforms that have it? Is it for uh, marketers and businesses, is it sort of a brand campaign type thing or awareness type thing? Where do you see the opportunities? Okay, so um, I think one case study that definitely proved itself recently, I think it's T3 Magazine and um, some website called dabs.com. I'm, I'm not sure of the exact name, but it was an Acer campaign mm -hmm. for an Acer computer. 
um, and it was a 3D type of augmented reality experience. You didn't need 3D glasses for it, but it sort of gave the um, site visitor the opportunity to kind of like interact with this new Acer netbook, mm -hmm. right? Um, almost like you're touching it, right? You could figure out how how it would fit in the palm of your hands and the and keys the and so on, right? Mm -hmm. So um, what they said was 70% of all visitors chose to take part in the experience. And of that 70%, 13% chose to actually buy the product. Wow. And they said for website conversions, that's pretty high, that normally you see about 0.5. Right? So, I mean, again, that's coming from their white paper. That's them putting out the numbers. There's no auditing of sure. this, you know, so we have to go by those numbers they put out there. But um, that's the opportunity for the advertiser, mm -hmm. right? And for the technology company that made that, they make money off the advertiser, right? right? So, I mean, that, that's where the opportunities are coming in, I think, um, uh, to in increase purchases, definitely. Great. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay.